Welcome to Kirkhill on the Gask Ridge, which is just uh, uh, west of uh, Perth in Scotland, and I'm uh, looking at the reconstruction of uh, the watchtower that would have stood alongside the uh, the road that ran along the ridge here. Uh, and we're walking in. This is quite a well preserved one. Uh, you can see the uh, the ditch quite clearly here, and I'm actually walking in through the uh, through the rampart. Lovely ditches. Again, sitting in the centre here would have been a st uh, strong fortified wooden timber building four huge posts in the middle which have obviously now long since decayed and uh, probably two or three stories high controversially uh, the dating for this is around 79 AD but uh, could have been a lot earlier and probably a pull out from this area heading south when the, the troops were needed on the Danube and the troops were uh, pulled back to the Tyne Solway line Maybe about AD 86, but again, dating is uh, somewhat problematic as there's little sort of in the way of finds. I'm looking down the valley now, and the hills beyond, uh, there's a number of uh, large Roman camps there, and uh, there's also the village of Dunning down there, which is actually the hill behind is one of the possible sites for the Battle of Mon Mons Graupius, which Agricola is said to have fought in around about AD 83. This is Muir of Fold, which is uh, heather covered and still in the middle of the forest and there's felling going on around me as well so it's quite an active place you can see the ditch here the roman ditch this dates from 79 or even earlier ad uh, surrounds the the site and i'm actually standing on the uh, the earth uh, rampart which would have had a timber palisade as well uh, right in the middle of this uh, this hollow uh, has been excavated and uh, just very very slightly noticeable uh, are actually post holes for the large four posts that would have held a two or a three story uh, building on the top. So uh, I waded across this ditch and I can tell you it's still quite deep and quite muddy so I wanted to go through it. Well I'm standing uh, very close to uh, Gask House uh, signal station on the, uh, the Gask Ridge, the Roman road west of Perth. Uh, this is the edge, the northern edge of a uh, temporary Roman camp, but sadly the uh, forest and time and ploughing probably in the past has done away with it. This is probably one of the most um, interesting and also slightly more difficult ones to uh, to find. You can see the uh, it's a bit um, entwood here, uh, plenty of things to go at. Uh, so here we have the mile, uh, sorry, the uh, signal station. Uh, you can just see the outer ditch here coming around, swinging around, and this is the central area here. And they say there would have been four timber posts here, holding maybe a three or a four story building. So, uh, yeah, a bit of an adventure in the woods looking for uh, for Roman fortifications. Despite all the forestry, this uh, actually survives quite well. You can still see the uh, the mound in the middle. There we go. And it's all getting a bit Blair Witch in here now, looking for these uh, uh, signal towers along the Roman road. You can see it's very overgrown, heavily forested. Uh, there's even uh, rather bizarre things tied to twigs, which makes things rather odd. Uh, but uh, I've found it, and it's still stunning fairly impressively, the uh, signal station. Here we have is the, uh, the ditch. There's a tree fallen in it there but uh, effectively it's still running around fairly deep, almost a, a metre plus in places with the, the rampart as well. Obviously everything was made of wood, so there's no stone to see. Abandoned uh, in the late uh, first century. I'll try not to uh, conclude. I actually have marked where the uh, the car is so I can get back. You'd be pleased to know, so I can get this uh, video out. Uh, rather sad that uh, the... Uh, signal stations in such a state really and not conserved properly uh, but I guess this is what happened uh, when the Romans departed the forests came back nature there I'm looking north at the entrances to all the magnificent glens in Scotland uh, in this part of the world Perthshire fantastic 
what a view the uh, soldiers must have had. I'm actually standing on the top of, uh, of uh, Midgegate uh, Watch Watch Tower. Um, the actual fortifications of the tower have been di disputed slightly, but um, I think the general consensus is that it is a, uh, a Watch Tower. Uh, I'm just cutting across the top of that tower now, which would have been uh, topped obviously with a palisade, a ditch, and obviously uh, wooden towers. But the interesting thing about this particular site is I'm walking towards it, you may be able to see there's another earthwork just dead ahead of me, just catching the sun. <coughs> that is actually a fortlet, Roman fortlet there. Um, so I'm just going to wander down and investigate that. Um, again, this would have been contemporary probably with the, the watchtower as far as anybody can say. And uh, so that's going to be the late first century. I'm just walking through the ramparts now into the center of the fortlet there. So that's going to be contemporary, maybe AD 79 or earlier slightly earlier and then probably an abandonment date maybe 86 to 90 AD as the troops were needed elsewhere in the empire. So I'm now actually inside the uh, the fortlet there. This has also seen a lot of activity afterwards as well. The, uh, the mound I'm climbing up onto now is, uh, I'm looking back on, uh, is actually part of the uh, Second World War. A uh, building stood up here as part of the, uh, the gas bridge um, air defence uh, system there from the airfields in this area. So uh, yes, uh, so a later Second World War building was actually placed in here. Uh, the causeway was actually uh, changed as well and improved so they can get in and out. So uh, this this is a lot of use for the last 900 years one way or another. So with the views of the uh, sun hitting the glens in the distance there and uh, the view back to the watchtower at uh, Midgate, this is the gas bridge signing out. Thanks.